finished at the doctor. Um, that went pretty well. And got me a cute little keto pink drink. Um, so that's another thing that I do. I um, try to stay pretty low carb or keto. Um, I've actually thought about doing some videos, like a channel, a keto channel, to keep me, you know, accountable. So, I don't know. It's, there's a lot of them out there, but, um, you know, mine would probably be mainly for accountability rather than, like, and, and about me rather than, like, teaching you, like, I don't have the desire really to teach anyone how to do. We'll leave that up to, you know, people uh, like Dr. Ken Berry and his wife, Nisha, who I love. Um, but yeah, you know, just to uh, help, help me stay on track. I don't know. So, one of the creators that is my absolute favorite I'm not a keto creator but just a regular just a regular somebody who actually inspires me a lot to do YouTube um, I've talked about her in one of my first videos that I put on this channel um, her name is Peach McIntyre and she is the lady that went from being on food stamps living in the projects, uh, well, living on Section 8 anyway, um, to, she's like a five-figure, or like a, or no, a six-figure content creator <clears throat> at this point, and it's been a year, so, um, she, her drive is just amazing, and she's funny, and she's just real. She's herself. She doesn't care. She's um, self-described ratchet. <laughs> she cracks me up so much. Um, but anyway, so she says, just do it. You know, just, uh, you have to, she says you have to stay consistent. You know, um, and she has a challenge going right now to herself and to her followers who who like to do content creation to do um, 100 days of videos, basically. 100 days of self-improvement and 100 days of content. At least, at least one video a day. It needs to be nine minutes or more. She said that's the, that's the key because pretty much it's eight minutes for YouTube. But if you do nine, you're going to be safe because, you know, you've got to edit. So you, uh, so you do 100 days of that, um, which it only takes 21 days to make a habit. So if you do 100 days of anything, you're going to be, it's going to be in your blood by then. And also 100 days simultaneously of self-improvement. So um, whether it be, oh, go ahead. So whether it be, um, you know, whatever your personal goals are, like if you want to make yourself look better on the outside, like, which was one of her goals, um, you know, she wanted to keep her hair done or nails and makeup and stuff like that. Just present better, essentially. Um, for me... I would have, I'm going to have to think about it, but, um, definitely continue to take pride in, you know, definitely continue to work on, um, my outward appearance as well as my inward personality and the way I present to the world. Um, you know, it just makes other people's life more, other people around you's life more, um, a lot easier if you, if you 
work on yourself, you know, if you work on you, you and work on your, your issues and your hangups and, you know, your inner child, inner child work as they call it, um, you know, because everybody's got baggage. You have baggage from childhood, you have baggage from previous relationships, and you need to work on that. You need to not bring that to the next person, not bring that to your husband and your children and your coworkers and your friends and whatnot. Um, but anyway, so Peach said that she, in the beginning, she did, she got monetized in like, I think it was 27 days. So not even a full month. Um, and she did, let's see, she did um, one to three videos a day for 27 days and she was monetized. And I think that's, I mean, I don't think I'm gonna have that because there were a lot of people who wanted to watch what she was putting out. You know, it was interesting. People were home. It was during the pandemic. I mean, we're still in a pandemic, but you know, this was like the height of the pandemic and people were really wanting to see like, they were curious. They were sitting home and watching videos, you know, they needed something to pass the time. And so she gained a lot of followers during that period. Um, however, as she says, this is kind of like the social media gold rush. You know, it's, the money is free for the taking for people right now. You know, it's, um, all it takes is consistency. That's what she says. So we're gonna try it. We're gonna, we're gonna test her theory um, that all it takes is consistency. Um, and, you know, a decent personality. You know, you don't have to be a, an extrovert. Um, I know a lot of introverts who are very successful on YouTube. So, <clears throat> the one thing about making YouTube videos that's been really difficult for me so far is actually finding like the perfect conditions to do it in. For the stars to be aligned enough to, you know, for me to sit down and, and be looking good enough and have makeup on or whatnot. And finally, I've just had to let that go and say, you know what, if, if you're gonna, if you're gonna have a following on YouTube, if you're going to be a content creator on YouTube, you're not going to always um, look a certain way, you know? Your people are not gonna see you with makeup on every time they see you. So, you might as well let them know how you look right off the bat. <laughs> you know, like a normal person. <laughs> I look like a normal, just a normal person. So, yeah. So I decided, I mean, maybe possibly even my drives to and from work, it's 11 minutes, you know? That's plenty of time to get a nine minute video in. If I shoot the whole 11 minutes, I'll have plenty of room to snip and clip every time I say something stupid. So this is what we're doing. My friend at work has been encouraging me to get serious about this. This is this has been a passion of mine. I mean, I talk about it all the time. I'm constantly trying to get other people to make YouTube channels. It's been a passion of mine for, I mean, I wanna say at least five years. But I'm the type of person that I will learn everything about something. I'll know it backwards, forward, side to side, up and down, but I'll never implement and I'll never, I'll never do the thing I want to do. Just do the thing, you know? So, this challenge is exactly what I need. It's exactly what I need to put myself out there and to do the thing. To get more comfortable on camera. It's weird, you know, like, it's, you just, you feel like you're talking to yourself. But I have to imagine that there are people that I'm talking to. And just like the YouTube creators that I watch, 
I just want them to act normal like they like themselves, you know, like they normally would. And you know, they don't have to talk a certain way. They don't have to hide their accent. Honey, I couldn't hide my accent if I tried. But people want you to be yourself. So, if you're watching this, that's what you're going to get. I'm sure that it will get less and less awkward for me. Because right now it's pretty freaking awkward. I don't even know where to look half the time. Like, there's the camera. But yet, I don't know. It, it's, that's strange. It's so weird. Y'all, this drink is so good. I highly recommend. Um, so what I did, I got this off of, um, I can't remember which website, but basically they said order a tall pink drink with sugar-free vanilla, heavy cream, and, you know, that makes it keto. And I think they said it was one they said it was one net carb maybe I don't know I didn't really care honestly I just didn't want a bunch of sugar but I so miss these are so good all right well I'm home so I'm going in um peace out see you later so until next time